Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to start talking to you guys about a possible promo that's going to be coming. Uh, I think it's going to be coming on Friday. This is when it was dropped last year, unless EA wants to change something um, different this year or maybe even skip the promo entirely. We should be seeing the Scream promo very, very soon. Last year around this time, basically this Friday, last year, a year ago, in October, we saw the beginning of the FIFA 19 Scream Ultimate Scream promotion, uh, and it was actually it was actually pretty for a pretty long time. These cards were in packs for a good while, uh, and of course they got boosted after being in packs for a week. And there were many um, pack promo packs in the store, no lighting rounds, just promo packs. Um, and of course there were SBCs and objectives and stuff like that. This is like, if you count once to watch as a promo, I mean, it is kind of a promo, but this is like our first promo in FIFA, um, where the full game is out for everybody. And it, the, it's just like a promo you can focus on once to watch is kind of like a promo where everybody's trying to start the game and just get players in their team and get cards at the same time as having this promo out. This is like the first promo where people are settled into FIFA. People are getting rewards. They're playing the game getting used to the new game, building their squads. And this is like the first full-fledged promo that we have um, to interact with in FIFA, or has been for years past. So I think this is very likely coming on Friday. I mean, we haven't had the card design or anything about pack code leaked or uh, put into the game yet. And just a reminder, if you guys want to know when card designs are released, Footwatch, at Footwatch on Twitter, this guy tweets out all these designs that get added to the player base. The League One Player of the Month design was added um, just now, actually. So that's a pretty cool looking card. Um, so that's a good guy to go follow if you want to see um, the card concepts or the card designs come out on foot. And uh, he also tweets out pack codes, which are very good to know as well. A lot of times when EA drops those card designs, um, it, it's like the night before. So like a Thursday night or sometime on Thursday, we usually do see some sort of build up for the promo. We could see a loading screen for the screen promo. I don't know if we saw a loading screen last year. I assume that we did. Uh, but that was something something they kind of started last year was doing those loading screens. And I think we could see one today on Thursday. That's why I wanted to get this video out and prepare you guys for that. We're going to talk about some of the market movements that I think you could see. And of course, maybe some investments, ways to get ready uh, for this screen promo. But the first thing that I want to point out is there's going to be a lot of packs open. This is like, obviously, yes, in FIFA, we've had some promo packs uh, in the store. Um, we've had some promo packs in the store, but really not really any big ones. 15Ks and 12Ks, so not really anything too big in terms of packs in the store, which um, is to be expected for early on in FIFA. I mean, we haven't had a promo yet where people can actually spend a lot of FIFA points, and at the beginning of the game, EA wants you to spend a lot of money opening those 7.5K packs and packing nothing so that you can spend a lot of money. But again, back over here to the web page. Um, this is FIFAAUteam.com as well, the great website for informational stuff about FIFA. Um, there was a lot of promo packs last year. And as we're going to look at a couple player graphs here in a second, you're going to see that a lot of the cards that were lower rated that were still inflated, lower rated, still inflated. Yeah, there's our mantra. If it's lower rated but still inflated, it's going to go down, all right? That kind of rhymes. It's kind of fun to say. Um, but we'll talk about that stuff. The team last year was um, the team last year was not the, the greatest, but it was it was just all right. And the way that they decided to do the screen promo last year, instead of boosting all their stats big time like they did in FIFA 18, in FIFA 19 they gave two stats where they were going to start boosting at a 90, and they would rotate. So like Busquets had 90 pace and 90 defending, and those 90 stats rotated every so once in a while. You see here Busquets on the next boost. Uh, or on the first boost, he actually got 90 pace and 90 shot. The second boost, he had 90 pace, 90 passing. The next boost, he had pace and dribbling. So that's the way they did it last year. They might do something different this year. They've done it different like all three years. They have done the screen promo. So I would be open to something different. Just give us some decent players um, that we can maybe have some fun with on the market. Um, I kind of enjoy the stats. That's kind of cool. Uh, about screen cards. It's kind of a cool thing and it creates some hype around the cards. These cards will be fun to trade with because they will move even if it's anticipated like hey 
EA says, hey, on this date, these screen cards are going to be shape-shifted. If they do that like they did last year and they tell us ahead of time, we'll be able to plan ahead for that and be able to... It's kind of a, still a risky investment because you don't know how exactly they're going to be shape-shifted. At least you didn't last year. But you could kind of invest in that and those cards would rise based on where those uh, stats changed. But last year, we didn't get a boost from October 26th. They stayed the same basically until February 8th. Like, bro, come on. They just like... EA just like forgot about those cards. Then they finally started upgrading them like once every month uh, for, for a few months there. So hopefully they are just more involved with this promo unlike they were last year. Of course, during uh, during the Ultimate Screen promo, you have a lot of SBCs. A lot of these, um, you know, dink and dunk SBCs as we call them on the channel. Uh, you get a kit for it, small Electrum Players Pack. You know, some of these SBCs actually will cost you a couple K uh, because especially if they put in requirements like this players from Benevento or players from Manchester United then you need Premier League or Calcio B last year we did get two player SBCs we got Koke who was a decent card to be honest um, from an SBC 83 rated squad was all that it took you also got a mega pack as well a mega pack and an 83 rated card is not bad not bad at all but then a bunch of these little pack SBCs, I would assume that we see those again this year. Um, if you want to invest in some things, again, you can look at investments for like teams that have dogs or, or dragons or um, beast or something that's like a moon. I don't know. It's just last year they had some of these teams that had like dogs or that was actually FIFA 18 as well. Um, like some of the teams that had uh, Halloween type animals in their uh, logos and their badges or whatever. Uh, there was some SBCs, dragons as well. There was some SBCs based around those cards. But most of these SBCs that you see are just very cheap pack SBCs. Same league, max four, same nation, max three, 85 chemistry. You get a 15K pack. Yippee. Maybe you pack a scream card. Uh, Swinesteiger was the other SBC. Obviously, we're not going to get this guy again this year because we just got an SBC, uh, a end of an era Swinesteiger, which is cool. Um, but we did get two player SBCs last year, and then there was one player that was available from Objectives, um, and it was Daily Blend, which is not a very high rated item. I don't know if you guys remember that card at all, but um, I would expect them to actually put a decent player in Objectives this year with all the hype that they have put on Objectives. I mean, moving the entire way that you get icons in this game over to the Objective side of things, and of course the Endombele and uh, just putting a lot of emphasis on the season objectives or uh, just any objectives that you can attain in FIFA, I would expect that a pretty solid player would be thrown in objectives this year. So that's going to be something that we're going to have to grind for as well and something to grind to. Um, other than that, there was a scream kit. Of course, there was the pack offers and SBCs. So it's your first normal promo of the year. So that's enough talking about the promo. I want to actually look at a couple of player prices um, because all the while this market is still rising up in price. All the while this market is still rising up in price um, as people get more coins. And when I say rising up in price, I'm talking at the higher rated, more meta players. It doesn't look like a lot of them are rising, but definitely the guys that are OP, that are popular, that are, that are getting into people's teams, they are rising. So I want to take a look at a guy like last year who was very popular and very meta. Scream last year came out on October 18th. You can see that Fabinho's card was literally unfazed by this time period. Um, he was literally his card did not move. This was like the peak, honestly, for a lot of cards last year. The peak price zone for a lot of these meta golds was um, the middle end of October during the Scream promo, and then it started to drop off as we got closer to Black Friday. So um, you can see that his card really wasn't affected by it, but a card like this was affected a ton. Let's zoom in a little bit on Mr. Gabriel Jesus. October 18th or 19th when the Scream promo came out. Gabriel Jesus is 50,000 coins. Look what happens after this. The days to follow, he gets absolutely dumped on. Next weekend, rises up a little bit from 35 to 38, and then boom, back down to 27. So basically in two or three weeks, he goes from 50K with all of these packs coming out from the promo, from the SBCs, from the promo packs in the store, this card's price, who was a very popular starter squad player, you know, he was 50,000 coins over here at 60K almost on some weekends. And he's all the way down here in the terms of 
two weeks from 50k to 20k so that's the kind of drop on players that you're going to see um because it's just inevitably coming a guy that comes to mind that would be exactly like that jesus this year would probably be ben yetter so many people love this card um he has a special card already he also has an updated player face not sure how i like some of these updated player faces though it's kind of weird um but ben yetter is like what twenty-seven thousand coins he's going to get hit with rewards pack supply tonight um as this video is going live weekend league rewards and stuff good luck if you're opening them of course but this is the type of guy that I would see falling off a cliff again during the screen promo if it does happen with all those packs being opened. And then even a guy like Lucas Mora, very, very popular player in this game. Tons of people use this card, but still, this is an 83 rated card and it's going to drop a lot as packs are continually opened during the onslaught of this screen promotion. So cards like this, if you still have them in your club or in your team, I mean, yes, it is good to upgrade, but you might lose a few coins if you don't upgrade on some of the cards like this. In terms of other investments for the screen promo, I mean, you basically saw it. There's a couple SBCs. If we get a good SBC, maybe we'll finally see some market movements in terms of um, some of the cheapest players by rating. I mean, if we look at some of those this year, I always loved looking at the cheapest players by rating and like last year during FIFA 19, telling you guys, hey, this is a great time to club stock, whatever. Um, dude, some of these cards are just so very cheap because there's no SBCs that require a lot of these cards yet. Some of these cards rose up a little bit because of the Schweinsteiger SBC, but there just hasn't been a ton of demand for an SBC yet that has had squad requirements of 84, 85, 86. It's all been just too overpriced so far. So maybe during the screen promo, we do get something that is sick. Regardless, I mean, 82 rated cards at 750, 800. Under Herrera, great links. Where was he? Right there. 850 for a PSG center attacking mid Spanish. Links everywhere. Um, so maybe pick up a couple 82s and have good links. Just do it a club stock, honestly. A club stock of 83s and 84s, maybe a couple 85s. Uh, I think is a good shout as well, especially on a day like this with today, like Rewards Day. You never know what kind of SBC they could drop that uh, releases something onto the market as well. And again, the screen, the screen promo is kind of uh, kind of one that we've seen in the past FIFAs has just been kind of like, meh, meh, you know? So if that happens again this year, it is what it is. Hopefully they do something to make it spectacular, uh, do something to make it really fun, and give us some pretty good content uh, to have fun with uh, on the menus. Um, yeah, so obviously we have the icon swaps that are still going on. I'm working on those. We're slowly chipping away at some of these. So we're gonna be continuing to work on those, but um, this is gonna be another promo that we're gonna have coming out. Again, if you do see a tweet from Footwatch or if you see a car design on Twitter, um, that would almost be a guarantee for me that the promo is gonna be coming. Or if you see some pack code um, released as well, talking about screen players or guaranteed screen player. If you see something about a guaranteed screen player, I don't know if they've ever had an SBC like that, maybe in one of the past FIFAs, I honestly don't know. But uh, an investment for that would probably be some low-rated informs and um, some 83s, 82s, 83s, 84s. I wouldn't imagine that they would require something crazy for a guaranteed screen player SBC, but it is possible. So uh, yeah, boys, that's kind of my thoughts on the screen promo and what could be coming and um, how you can prepare for it. I mean, to be honest, there's not a ton of ways to prepare. Just maybe stock your club. I'm sure you guys have discard informs um, and... Just be careful with some of the lower rated cards that you have in your in your club that are uh, of the higher priced variety. Low rated, but inflated, all right? Are we are we sticking with that? Are we sticking with that, uh, that little saying right there? Low rated, but inflated. This guy comes to mind, another left back that is French in the uh, team of the week this week, week. Team of the week this week with Luca Digne. Uh, that card's like 70K. People are going to be moving on from a card like this. Even though he's super duper good in game, uh, people are going to upgrade because he's 80 rated. They're going to upgrade at some point. So this is a card that you could see start to get packed a lot. People moving on from him and his card price dropping. So that's a card that I would be careful with as well. The low rateds that are up higher in price. All right, boys. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts or opinions on FIFA 19 or FIFA 20 Ultimate Scream, what you think it could be. And uh, hopefully we have a, a fun promo this weekend, boys. It'd be nice to have a promo with something going on other than just some dink and dunk SBCs 
and some you know overpriced SBCs and icon objectives that everybody is sweating out in division rivals and squad battles. So it would be fun to have an ultimate screen promo this weekend. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter, of course, if we do see content posted, uh, card designs or pack code or tweets from EA even. We will uh, be all over that if it does, if it does come out. All right, boys. It's been Nate, Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.